Welcome to the MBU Coaches Show. I'm Drew Fry alongside Coach Sam Pearson. Sam, you guys are coming off of a week where you guys went one and one with a loss against Columbia yeah. and an overtime win against Cotty. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, feels good, man. It feels a little better if we were 2-0. Oh. Uh, but, man, it, uh, you know, it feels good. It feels good to come out of the week with a victory, uh, especially here at home, uh, revenging a loss that we – uh, you know, after dropping one at Cotty College uh, originally when we played them down in Nevada, Missouri. Uh, you know, and, and Columbia is, is Columbia. You know, Columbia is a prototype of the conference uh, year after year for a reason, man. You know, they have a tradition of winning, uh, a system of winning basketball, you know, and it seems like they just keep recycling it every year, man. So I thought we played them tough. You know, I thought that we, uh, if, if we're able to ha hold them to, uh, a little less than 26 offensive rebounds. We give ourselves a little better shot, um, you know, but man, they did what they needed to do, especially down the stretch to close out a victory at their place. Southwell Complex is always a tough place to play, um, you know, so we really wanted to, like you said, go one and one, you know, uh, and, and we were able to do that with the overtime win at Cotty, or excuse me, here against Cotty, um, you know, and, and, a, and just a wild game. And again, we kind of struggled excuse me, rebounding the basketball then as well, man. But, you know, we're able to make make the plays down the stretch, uh, get the stops down the stretch. I thought Amar Mansoor was incredible for us. Uh, Darner had a triple-double. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophia Horton had some big free throws. Uh, and Nia Ford with three back-to-back -back triples to, to kind of initiate our offensive run early on, man. So, you know, it feels good. feels good going one-on-one. -on -one. Sure, we'd like to go 2-0, oh, but... You know, with five games left, man, I think that we're trending in the right direction. After the buzzer beater three at the end of regulation, what was the team's mentality in that huddle before overtime? Yeah, uh, you know what, man? I think that that was a big moment in our season. Um, you know, and I say that because, uh, you know, in the past, in our past games, you know, whenever we get down six to eight, you know, or whatever the team hits a dagger, you know, late in the game, you can see the air sucked out of us. You can see us deflating. And uh, Cotty hitting that triple to send us into overtime, I think was a, um, a growing up, I guess, experience for us. You know, because yeah, sure, it sucked that we were going into overtime and we were up six with about a minute to go. Uh, but we were able to respawn. We were able to rebound, kind of get back to work, uh, and I think I outscored them 12 to two in overtime, man. So I think that we needed um, a situation as so, um, you know, and, and to bring us closer together, to keep us, um, you know, to the grind, uh, to show us some pers the perseverance we have in this group, you know, and hopefully that'll, uh, you know, that'll be tested a little later on here in the conference tournament as well. So you guys got three games the rest of this week against UHSP, Hannibal LaGrange and Harris Stowe. Mm -hmm. Tonight you guys got UHSP on the road. Yep. Gonna stop Grace Byers again. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I don't think we're gonna stop her, man. I, you know, I don't think anyone has ever stopped her. Uh, but it's about you know just making every possession tough with her, uh, keeping a body or two on her at all times, making her catches tough. Um, you know, and, and, and a big uh, underrated factor in guarding Grace Byer is to not foul her. Um, whenever she shoots eleven or more free throws, they haven't they haven't lost the game yet. You know, so we have to keep her, you know, the goal is to set seven or less uh, free throws, you know, not foul her. She's, she's very crafty, especially going off that left hand. Uh, so we're going to try to make every, you know, every catch tough, every, uh, every offense is set off the ball screen, you know, guard it in different, different ways, send it a couple of different fresh bodies at her, and just see if we can slow her down, really. You know, a, a player of her caliber, we're not really going to, we're not going to completely eliminate her, but it's about slowing her down. And most importantly, not letting the uh, prolific shooters they have around her in, uh, in Matthews and Aladdin, not, not let them get comfortable and not let them get going, uh, you know, and, and see if we can be the best version of ourselves, you know, and, and come out of there with a victory here on Tuesday evening. And then we have, you know, we'll be uh, at home Thursday with Stowe and then on the road to Hannibal. So, you know, all winnable games. But man, it's about uh, it's about taking it one possession at a time, not looking too far ahead, uh, and again, man, just playing our best brand of basketball at the right time come conference tournament. 
And I know you like to take it one game at a time, but what's your game plan for the two games later this week against Stowe and LaGrange? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, again, it's to, uh, to be us. You know, I think that as late as it is in the season, we're just now beginning to find an identity, you know, with several new players. And, you know, a couple of these games, Stowe's really going to test our toughness. Stowe's really going to test if we have uh, made some adjustments rebounding the basketball because they dominated the glass last time we played out on them and they play with a lot of tempo. Uh, so they're going to test us in those areas and Hannibal LaGrange is going to test us in the complete opposite way uh, to see if we can be composed in the half court, you know, to see if we can guard multiple actions defensively. Um, you know, but again, if we're at our best, you know, no matter the opponent, whether it's Pharmacy, Stowe, Hannibal LaGrange, or it's the top of the conference, I think that we're a tough outing, man, and I think that you know teams. Uh, we're not a team. We're not. A, we're not an easy victory for any team, you know. And I think that uh, you know, come conference tournament time, um, you know, we're, if we're at our best, you know, I like our chances against anyone. Good luck the rest of this week. Awesome. Thank. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate we'll be you, back boss. with Coach P and Kevin right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Coaches Show on the Spartan Digital Network. That's Preston Ingram. I'm Kevin Paulus. And, uh, Coach, let's talk about sort of the week that was, just one game last week, and uh, it was the uh, Columbia game. You guys battled pretty hard, came up short in that one, though. We did. We had a bad start in the second half. You know, I thought the first half, I thought we played a pretty good game. There were some possessions in there. I thought that we left on the table. It was unfortunate, but I thought both teams kind of did the exact same thing, really. Uh, started the second half. We came out, and this is the exact same song with, with us all year this year. We've had bad starts in the second half, and, and that, and that kind of hurt us, you know. I thought we had a chance down the late of the game, and, um, you know, th when they put the zone on us, uh, that really kind of hurt us a little bit. Um, I probably did a um, – kind of kicking myself a little bit because I think I probably sort of made another adjustment into that. Um, and that's something that we've kind of talked about uh, all year is not letting zone hurt us, and unfortunately the zone kind of hurt us now. We had some shot opportunities in there, but we also had some costly turnovers and some bad mistakes on that part, and they hit some timely shots. Um, you know, I saw a stat uh, going into that game. That the now, out of the last 23 games, going into the game was 22, but now the last 23 games, uh, 12 of them have been decided by five points or less. Right. You know, close. And, and so, I mean, and, and that our last game was five points, you know. And um, now, uh, also, too, another crazy stat, and this is kind of another testimony to us also, too, is this, is that, you know, I think it was in the past five years, they've only lost six games between men and women over there mm -hmm. uh, at home, and we own three of those losses. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's not that we're not incapable, it's just the fact that it is. I thought that, again, the last two games we played against them, we've kind of hurt ourselves in some areas. But, you know, also, too, though, we know how that game goes, and right. that game is going to be tough, and Thomas did a heck of a job with that. And so yeah. we got to tip our hat to him and get yeah. better. Absolutely. One uh, player that kind of stood out, Connor Redrow with a double-double, yeah. he seems to really be, you know, maybe not consistently on the incline, but he, he seems like a player that as the season goes on, he's given a little bit more, a little bit more. And he's a tough matchup for a lot of teams when he's on. No doubt. I mean, Connor is, uh, we're blessed to have him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a work, he's just a work dude. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's a guy, he doesn't really speak too much. He just puts his hard hat on every day and just goes to work, you know. And I'm proud of him. He got a double double, and especially with a lot of stuff going on, and um, you know, and that's in his personal situation right now of lo losing a really dear near person to him. Uh, he kind of played a little more inspired, and and I'm hoping that he can kind of continues that throughout the year because we kind of need him to, you know. I mean, he's a guy that usually we don't really uh, rely on too much for offense, and he provided a lot of offense for us that game, and. Uh, you know, defensively, I think that he's always a tough matchup for anybody defensively. I mean, he's I mean, being 6'11", almost 7 foot, mm -hmm. um, you know, he's able to alternate shots. He rebounds really, really well in his area and outside of his area. Um, and now hopefully we can get him back on track and knocking down some more shots from an offensive standpoint and stretching the four out. But, it, I mean, he was a, I mean, he just did what exactly what he's done all year. He's mm -hmm. just a, he's, he's, he's kind of one of those guys that just continues to always do the right things and, 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 and hold down the fort for us. And so hopefully we can keep that from them. You guys have dropped uh, three straight against, you know, some of the top teams in the conference, uh, CBC and, and William Woods. That was a tough loss. And then uh, obviously the Columbia game. So uh, got to kind of steer the ship, turn the ship around a little bit as you get into your last five games now. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on NARC territory for yeah. us. You know, I mean, we've never really been in this way. You know, a lot of it, I think, that has to do with our injuries that we've had this year. Right. I mean, we're not really being consistent. Uh, it's because we've been inconsistent to be able to be consistent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, you know, Moosh has been out the last couple of games here, and then now, we're, you know, we're doing some other injuries with some other players. And, um, you know, we've got <clears> – <throat> we've only got two guys that played every game this year, and I think we've only played like five games, maybe six games with a full roster. Mm -hmm. um, and it hasn't always been that way in practice, though, because we're not able to practice everybody every single day because of the fact of the injuries that we have. So right. we kind of got to give this guy a day off or that guy a day off or multiple guy days, days off, and it becomes kind of hard whenever you got some players playing out of positions and you're trying to teach all these positions and then trying to go and win. And we haven't really never been not in the consideration of winning the league uh, ever you know, and, and uh, outside of this year and my first year when, we, when both of them was due to all the injuries. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, so, I mean, but in, at the end of the day, nobody's going to write a song, long country song for us, <laughs> you know. I mean, like, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get everybody's best shot and we got to get back on track and it starts with tonight and hopefully we can get another deal. And I also don't like the fact that we played two games in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all. I think that was, um, that's unfortunate by the conference. Uh, I think it's unfortunate, you know, for, for us uh, completely is that you're not going to find a rhythm in that part, you know. Um, you know, I, 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 we got to get that fixed by the AMC. I mean, that should never be a thing mm -hmm. at any point in time. We should never have to play back-to-back -back bye weeks uh, of, of any sort. And that's an unfortunate deal because nobody else has had to do that. And playing two games in two weeks is hard to be able to keep your rhythm in that part when you're, you was playing better. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of our injury, but try to find rhythm in that part. That's been difficult also, too. Yeah, and it's, it's uh, you know, you guys played two games in two weeks, and now, you know, you're going to play five games in 12, yeah. 13 days. <laughs> Polar you know? So it's uh, this is a three-game week followed by a two-game week, and then you're right into tournament. Um, let's talk a little bit about this is the final game uh, tonight of the, what, six-game road trip. and. Uh, yeah. It looks like, you know, if you guys do what you did against HLG, or I'm sorry, against uh, uh, Pharmacy, a three and three trip anyway. Yeah. You know, if you consider it as, you know, on the road, three and three normally isn't bad, but some of those losses hurt a little bit more than just, you know, your regular road loss. For sure. I mean, two of the games, I mean, you know, I thought that we kind of beat, our, beat ourselves a little yeah. bit. Uh, the one game we didn't beat ourselves, they just, Woods just absolutely just wiped the floor with us. Right. But, um, but, you know, I mean, road games and conference games are always going to be tough. And to try to win consistently is hard. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and this year the league is good and, and, and it, like it's always been. And it's hard to be able to do that when you're doing six games in a row right. uh, playing all on the road, you know, and you're not able to get any kind of breaks in that part. Um, yep. that, that becomes hard. And you're playing the top three teams all in a row, you know, on top of that mm -hmm. um, in a spread out time. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and so needless to say, like I said earlier, I mean, if we can – you know, cap off tonight and go through and three. We try to find our legs. We try to find some health and get it in the rhythm going into the conference tournament. That's all at the end of the day. That's what we're going to look for. Mm -hmm. You know, there might be two teams in the league right now with Columbia and, 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 and CBC that might get autos mm -hmm. of, of where they're at right now and their standings in that part. And that's, that's great notoriety for them and for our conference. And that's great for that. But at the end of the day, you got to win the conference tournament. Right. And, you know, and, 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 and right now, what we're trying to do is trying to position ourselves. Um, hopefully, I think right now, maybe we might be in the finish in the fourth. Maybe mm -hmm. we have a chance to get the third, depending on how the things kind of play out. Right. But nonetheless, though, you're going to go win two games on the road, or if not, you're going to win one game or two games at home right. to be able to get to that. And so, you know, either way, I think that you're going to have to be able to do what you need to do to do and get in, find a way to be able to win on the road. Right. If we're going to do this, we're going to have to win it on the road. Yep. And um, that's just going to be what it's going to be. Now, we've been road rowers early. Um, in past years, I think this year we haven't been that, and I think that's kind of been detrimental to us a little bit in some of those road, road games here. But nonetheless, hopefully we get it figured out. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, you kind of touched upon it, but it looks like at this point you guys are playing for third or fourth place. So really, the you know, the only difference is are you going to go to number two or are you going to go to number one if there's, you know, right. not any upsets uh, in the conference tournament. So maybe not quite as motivating as, you know, still having a shot at that number two spot because that's pretty much out the window now with, sure. uh, with you guys with four losses and two of them coming to Columbia. But you do get into a softer part of the schedule now. Let's be honest about it with Pharmacy tonight, uh, Harris Stowe coming here. 
and then uh, you go to HLG. So talk a little bit about this week and what that means for your team and, and <coughs> positioning and things like that. Well, it's a big week. I mean, it's a big week for us to try to get back and get our, our moxie back to us. Um, or Coach Taylor calls it moxie and our bravado. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we got to get a little bit of a, a swagger back to us and be able to kind of understand what it is that we are and who we can be. Um, you know, and so, you know, this week is a big week, regardless of who we're playing. I, you know, I think that we need to get off one tonight, and then obviously we get to come back home for the first time in a month. Uh, and some change there, and be able to come back home and play a game against a tough Air Stoke team. I mean, they're tough. I mean, they're going to play hard, and we know how that game is. I mean, every single year that we play them, no matter where they're at, Coach Cook's going to have their team ready to play, and uh, they're going to come in here, and, 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 and they're fighting for seeds. You know, I mean, they have a chance to be able to get to the fifth seed. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's going to be a big thing in that part. And then finish it off with Hannibal. And Hannibal, it's always a tough game at Hannibal. I mean, they just played, you know, somebody really tough the other day. I think it might have been CBC mm -hmm. really tough at their place on that part. And so it's going, to be, it's going to be three really good games for us. It's going to be different for us because we haven't done this and I, I, I don't know when. Mm -hmm. uh, debated to play three games in one week, mm -hmm. you know, and going from the one extreme to the polar opposite. I guess it's just uh, – what we do in mm -hmm. the AMC, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just kind of how we we uh, we we row these ducks here. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we're going to end up find, finding out, but hopefully we can get it done and find a rhythm and uh, keep our health the way it needs to be. And if we can keep that those two things there, you know, I, I, I like our chances. Best of luck. I appreciate it. All right. That is Preston Ingram. And this has been the Coaches Show on the Spartan Digital Network.